What's up everyone, my name is Zach and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be reviewing a release that was one of my most anticipated releases of the year and that book is An Academy for Liars by Alexis Henderson. So this book released on September 17th so I believe by the time you're seeing this video this book will already be out and available to you. Before I get started I do need to say thank you to Pingham Random House Audio who helps me out so much throughout the year by giving me early access to books on audio and they gave me early access to this book so thank you so much to Pingham Random House Audio for giving me a chance to review View the audio copy of this book. I will say before I get into the actual story parts, the audio is a fine way to intake this book. The audio, like it, it was really good. I felt like it was narrated well. It was it was read well. If you're interested in audio, then I would say that that's a fine way to intake this book. Sometimes I listen to audio books and I'm like, absolutely not, absolutely not. That this is not one of them. I mean, I wouldn't say that like. This narrator, which is um, Tracy Frank, I wouldn't say that they're like one of my favorite narrators, like Brittany Presley or Imogen Churches, but she's good. It was a fine way to intake the book. Okay, so I'm gonna start this review off by giving you all a little bit of information about what the book is actually about, while Xander, my cat, climbs on something behind you all and I hope isn't too loud. He's about to fall. Xander, honey, you are too big, baby. I'm gonna take a picture of him and place this in the video. Okay, so let's start by talking about what the book is about. So Academy for Liars is a dark academia novel about a girl who all of a sudden out of nowhere gets access and acceptance to something she never applied for, which is to go to the college called Drayton. So our main character, the book starts off with her, also this will be a spoiler for your review. The book starts off with her, she's having a really hard time in life. Her partner is cheating on her. She's feeling really down and, and, and bad about life and she comes up with a plan to die by suicide. But then something magical happens and she ends up at Drayton College. When this book first begins, it really reminds me of The Magicians by Lev Grossman, I believe is how you, is his last name. I love that book, by the way. A great book. You should check it out if you haven't before. But coming into this magical school and having to do tests to get acceptance, there being like, um, you know, other people with magical abilities and things like that. Just it's a very dark academia novel. Like you get a sense of the campus and the school and the different kinds of people that are there, the professors, the different ways of magic. But the main kind of magic in this book is the magic of persuasion, which was pretty interesting, meaning that it was kind of like a magical ability mixed with like what we typically read about in vampires, which is where the, our main character has a really good ability to persuade someone to do something. That aspect of the book was really cool. It was very interesting. Another part of the magic system is like our main character can access other worlds by like calling an elevator, which sounds so unique and so interesting. And it was, it was very cool. The magic in this book was some of my favorite and really the only thing that kept me from DNFing it. So I guess now's a good time to say I ended up giving this book three stars and I predicted it to be a five star or a new favorite. So I have lots to say to you all. Essentially, all you need to know is that it is it is a um, dark academia novel about a magic school and a girl who's trying to learn her way and figure out what is happening to her while she's there. Um, there is like a whole... Yeah, there's like a whole synopsis, obviously, but basically the synopsis just says that she's trying to learn to control uh, her magic and she's trying, she's studying, she's learning more about Drayton College um, and she becomes disturbed by what she learns. It, it's all about, it's, it's definitely a character study about our main character who is trying to learn about what has happened to her, what this college is, why it exists, and about the people that are there. It is a very character driven story um, with magic and that sorts of fantasy elements. It's closer to like urban fantasy because it does kind of still take place within our, what we would know as like our normal world. Some issues that I have with this book are that it doesn't always make sense and not in the way that I was confused, but in the way that like either answers to questions felt kind of lazy or 
like the most convenient answer. For example, people can call her while she's at the college, but they don't know that she's there and they can't ask about it, which sounds cool in terms of like the world building and the magic and how the whole system is functioning, but it did not come across well at all. I did not like that at all. Another big complaint, which is something I've complained about in other books on my channel. So you all have been here before. will know that this is a pet peeve of mine. I felt like our main character was really immature. And a lot of the drama that takes place amongst the characters there is like high school level drama. And these people are well into adulthood, like late 20s, early 30s. And I was just like, no one acts like this. I mean, I'm sure people do, but like the drama in the dialogue, oh my gosh, the dialogue drove me mad. I was just, normal people, I don't love to use the phrase normal people, but most conversations do not take place the way that they were outlined in this book. Again, they felt like middle school, early high school dialogue, and a lot of the story is dialogue. And so if that is annoying, like it was racking my brain so hard. Like at times I really wanted to DNF the book, but I'd already come so far and I really wanted to do this review. And recently you guys have heard me talk about this off and on in videos. Like I do think DNFing is really important. However, leading up to this book, I had DNFed a lot of books and I was just like, I'm gonna finish this. I'm going to finish this. There were things that I found interesting though, which was like the magic. I really, really loved learning about the magic. I loved how it impacted our main character. I loved the places that they traveled and like, yeah. But the, my main complaint was the like interactions between the characters. And for such a character heavy, character driven book, like that just can't be the case like it, it just it did not it did not work for me i do think that people will like this book i do think that there are aspects of it especially with the recent like interest in romanticy i would say this could classify as that there is a romance throughout the book which was also irritating to me um three stars feels really ge generous for for my enjoyment of this book but i i do feel that it was so well crafted and unique in terms of the magic that like I just couldn't see myself giving it any less than that. I'm gonna pull up my notes so that I can maybe make this review a little bit more coherent for you all. Um, I say this in most videos, if you want to know more information or you read the book and wanna talk about it, feel free to let me know in the comments. And then also I have a Discord server, which is free to everyone. It's linked down below. You're welcome to join the Discord if you'd like. Okay, looking at my notes, I wrote, this is so close to being something great. Um, it just felt like it was just so close, but it missed the mark for me for the reasons that I've, I've already explained. Um, I wrote that it reminds me of the magicians and the secret history. There, There is a school within the school that is like the most elite, like just reminded me of aspects of a secret history. And I felt like the author got inspiration from that book, but I don't actually know that. I have no idea if the author's ever read that book, but there were some aspects I felt of the secret history, but also it kind of felt like it was trying to do too many different things at once that nothing really felt settled enough. Um, I wrote that at times it felt atmospheric and transportive. That was true for the, 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 things that I enjoyed about the book. Another really interesting thing is I love rats. I used to raise rats. I think they're great pets. I think they're very misunderstood. And they're a big part of this book and they're painted in a really positive light. However, there is some research on rats and things like that that was difficult to read at times. But I love the fact that that rats were such an important part of the, the book because I, I love rats. Um, there's also a lot of drug use. Um, drugs like MDMA and things like that amplify the magic and just as like a personal taste I did not love that I felt like there could have been like a more creative or another reason for that but and I think that was part of the reason why it reminded me of secret history as well I just didn't love that as like like a method the author didn't do anything wrong there's nothing problematic about that just for my taste and what I like to read I did I just didn't enjoy that aspect um, and I wrote, this is going to be verbatim of like what I wrote, man, there were so many better ways to do this and make it make sense. Like the secretive aspect of the school. And when people go see family, you just run off and broke your engagement. The writing is just immature and it's so close to being something great. So her family, it looks to them like she just ran off and ruined her engagement. Meanwhile, her partner cheated on her. Like you find this out at the very beginning of the book. It's not a spoiler. And I was just like, 
oh man, it's like so close to like being able to develop this well-crafted plot and story and it's just missing the mark because it felt em like emotionally immature to me personally. Um, Xander would like really badly for me to hold him. So I'm going to hold him for the remainder of this video. So everybody say hi to Xander, who's the best boy. He's just the most cuddly best boy. Um, anyways, maybe this would be a little distracting. Maybe I should put him down. I'll hold you after I finish filming the video, okay? You can sit in my lap. Um, yeah, so I just feel like between a rock and a hard place with this book because there was so much about it that I wanted to read and it was so close. Like when I picture my experience with this book in my brain, because I'm very like imaginative, I just imagine like a bar being so close that it's like frustrating. I'm like, ah, man. So I would love to hear from you all. Um, I, I would love to know in the comments if you plan to read this book. A lot of people recently have been commenting on videos that I've given book negative reviews and explained why they liked the book. And I actually think that's pretty eye-opening. It doesn't change my opinion, but if you did love this book, I would love to hear from you. Like, I would love to know what you enjoyed about it. Like, I think that's what makes us as readers all very unique and, and beautiful. So I would love to know if you enjoyed it. If you are on, like my view of like not enjoying it for reasons like also camaraderie would love to hear it uh just as always i would love to hear from you all feel free to join the discord i have a readathon coming up um soon if you're watching this video as it's coming out um yeah i don't really know what else to say about this book because it felt so disappointing but yeah i don't feel like i can give it less than three stars if you're a fan of the magicians if you like romanticy if you don't if you're not as bothered because it's definitely partly a me problem. If you're not as bothered by like drama that doesn't make sense and feels immature and, and high school-y, because like there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes we want to read what we perceive as just like nonsense. <sighs> I know that sounds bad, but like sometimes we do just want to read something that's kind of wild and that like, just give it a try. Just, just give it a try. It's not horrible. It's not great. It just wasn't for me. And I feel let down by that because I was looking forward to this book so much, but yeah. Those are all my thoughts on this. I'm not going to drag this video video out longer than it needs to be. I hope that you all um, are doing well and are enjoying September. Before we know it, it's going to be October. Soak in the fall. This would be a great book to read during the fall just because dark academia season, you know. Just give it a try. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I appreciate you all a ton. Thank you for watching my reviews and for hanging out and just being present. You guys... I'm just so thankful. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.